Hey guys, and welcome to the Sims 3 walkthrough tutorial for festivals. Now, festivals is kind of a new thing that came with seasons, so if you know, like, with the seasons expansion pack, you got lots in your community lots section, so like, say, for example, you, um, you have a custom world, and you want to put one of the community lots from, like, I don't know, Bridgeport or something like that. But it just doesn't seem to fit into your natural environment of your world that you customly created or a world that somebody else custom created you just want to make it your own. Basically, I'm going to show you how to make it. It's real simple. Not so difficult. It's not rocket science. So, yeah. So first things first, you need to type in the cheats. Testing cheats enable true. And you also need to put in debug mode. Once you get in there, you're going to want to search for this little tinfoil ball. They have like the third one. I think it's, if you have, um, what's it called? Nightlife. It should be right after all those buildings. Should be like the last one called Season Lot Marker. You just need one, you don't need more than one. So once you place it on your lot, it's basically simple from there. This is my like quickly like let me show you guys how to do this kind of thing so don't mind how, what the objects in the background are so basically this will be your main common setting so like this will always be here so you control shift left click what you can do is you can name your seasonal lots I mean your seasonal name so like for example my winter one I called it uh, winter snow breeze so when the seasonal season comes in this lot will know it as snow breeze by season you can do it for all the other ones what common means is basically like how my lot is right now so like normal and then constructions like when they're doing the switching converting from fall to winter winter to spring and stuff like that. I was about to say winter to fall now set season, All right now I have it on common, so that means whatever I do, this will be the original template. Now say for example I want to do winter. Click on winter, and as you can, I started playing around with it. So I have some fireworks here, and as you saw these other objects faded out in the background. What that means is, these objects will permanently always be there. You can move them around, but if you delete them, you're deleting it for the whole thing. So make sure not to delete it um let's see now let's throw some things in here i'm gonna throw some random things but you guys will get the picture because i want to make this video as quickly as possible so i'm going to throw some chairs and some chairs some tents and about tables and a light oops whatever okay now as you guys are going to see the fireworks and these tables and two lamps, lights, lamps, huh, are gonna disappear when I try to change it for the season again. So let's go into fall. They disappeared. And now let's put, um, I was gonna put a tiny booth for fall. Okay, um, haunted house, hot dog, pie eating contest. So I got my decoration set up for fall and everything. Next thing you know, I want to change it to back to summer. So they completely disappear. You gotta remember when you put where you put them is really vital. Make sure they also have a restroom. I mean, Sims don't want to go to a festival that doesn't have a restroom <clears throat> and stuff like that. So make sure they have like the necessities they won't need just to be at a park or something like that. But that is basically it. I mean, there's really not much to it. If you switch your season back to common, you're going to see these come back up. You can always move them around during the set season, like say I want to set it or winter. I can always move it around. And the game will recognize them like being right there, so they'll never change when they go back to common, but they will be gone. Why? Because you basically move them into a winter object. As you saw, these weren't. Uh, this, these are faded, but these work. So make sure if you ever want to move these objects, to move them in common before you move them into a seasonal place. And 
know, it kind of makes it seem hard, but I mean, you gotta put some thinking into a festival. Or if not, you can just have like this area be um, food area and like restrooms and stuff like that, and do the rest for like every season and stuff. So that's basically about it. Hope you guys find it um, helpful when making your own seasonal lots and stuff like that. And make sure to subscribe, like, and follow me on Twitter at Ralphie Boy. It's R A P H Y B O I I. And yeah, so keep up. Yeah, just like this video and share it with people who are actually into designing and stuff and doing stuff like that. Alright, guys, have a nice day. Why did I say have a nice day? Have a wonderful cycle, please. I don't know. My head hurts. I'm tired. Bye.